Ladies, <laughs> I was completely not planning to do this Instagram Live, but one of the things that I do when I start my day is read the news. Um, I actually used to always do that, and I've, I've gotten away from it for like the past couple of years just because, frankly, I had my priorities uh, messed up, and I kept thinking that the more that I rushed into my day, the more that I put everything to the side and just worked, 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 and worked, that would get me ahead, and guess what? It really never does. Um, but I'm back to doing this when I start my day off. <laughs> Mondays, I'm always starting my day off a little late because I tend to have problems sleeping on Sunday night. Are you guys like that? Do you have problems? I'm also dealing with hair issues. Do you have problems sleeping on Sunday night? Sometimes people um, have problems sleeping on Sunday night because they hate their jobs. I tend to have problems sleeping because I have so much that I'm excited about. I'm launching two new businesses, actually launched them uh, end of last week. But um, anyway, that tends to be what my sleeping issues are. And sleep is hugely important, which is why I let myself sleep in. Back to what I wanted to talk about today. I just stumbled on this article and it's so relevant and it's so what, hey Amanda, how are you? It's so what fires me up why I'm doing what I'm doing with my new businesses that I had to share. So it's this article on Financial Times and it says women hold fewer than 5% of CEO positions in the United States and Europe. Ladies, it's time for you to start believing in yourself and pursuing your passion and stop thinking that you can't. I see so many women who are so talented and yet they're so doubtful and so insecure and they give in to, well, I've got kids, I've got a husband, I've got to get the predictable income, I've got to stay where it's a safe job with health insurance. I get that, okay? And I absolutely don't have kids, I don't have a pet, I just, it's just me and the man, okay? So I understand I'm not coming from a place of being able to relate to you, to all of you ladies that have kids. Here's what I'm gonna tell you though. Why am I still wearing my glasses when I'm not reading? Here's what I'm gonna tell you. There is no such thing as a safe job. There's no such thing as job security. Whether you work for yourself, whether you wait tables, whether you start your own company, period. I could give you 17 examples off the top of my head of friends that have had safe jobs and corporate jobs, and some of them have worked in these jobs for the better part of their entire adult life. I have a, my old neighbor back in Chicago, she's 60 plus, doesn't have a college education, worked for 17 years for this company and was laid off and literally has tried to get new jobs because she wants that security, she wants the healthcare coverage, she wants the predictable paycheck. And I don't say this to make fun of her, I say this to make a point. She has been laid off, has tried to apply for jobs that are appropriate to her, that are, are within her area of expertise and, and experience. She has been laid off and, and let go of, I think in the past two years, six jobs. And so every time it's this huge letdown and every time she gets her hopes up and she says, now I'm safe, now I have income. I'm not telling every one of you ladies to go out and quit your job. That's not my point at all. If you have a passion and you have a talent and you are thinking, I've got a blog and, and I'm doing some sponsor posts with brands, but I've got other companies that are reaching out to me and I could be doing more, or I'm passionate about becoming a personal trainer or a dietitian or a nutritionist, or I've, I've got an interior decorating passion and I watch HGTV all the time, HGTV all the time. People are constantly asking me to decorate their house. Why not take a chance? It doesn't mean you necessarily have to quit your J-O-B, okay, to dive into trying something. You can start something off as a side hustle. And also, for, for those of you that are listening, ladies, if you think, I could never be a CEO, being a CEO doesn't mean you have to be the CEO of IBM or CEO of Starbucks. I'm a CEO, okay? I'm a CEO of a successful, seven-figure profitable business. If you think this girl here had any idea that I'd be successful in 2011 when I quit my job and I had no money in the bank, no business plan, no idea what the hell I was doing, no employees, but somehow I figured it out because I had this gut feeling and also because I hated my job and at the time I hated my boss. And I can say that now because we're friends, my old boss and I. So what I wanna tell you is now is the time there are so many resources for you. There are so many opportunities for you. 
the barrier of entry to starting your own business, your, your, your own entity that you can be the CEO of, whether that means you have five employees or 20 contractors that work for you, it doesn't matter. Pursue your passion, give back all, everything that you have inside of you, if you've got a passion for it, if you have expertise, if you have knowledge, it doesn't mean you have to have an MBA to go start your own company. I don't, I, I graduated from college, but there's plenty of people out there that have started successful, profitable, extraordinarily successful businesses without college degrees. I can just name several uh, that live in Seattle that have started outrageously successful companies. And those guys never even, some of them I think didn't even graduate from high school. Don't give yourself the excuse to not pursue your passion. Don't give yourself an excuse to say, it's time for me to stop living in this painfully boring existence where I dread going to work, where I slum it through the, the snow every day and I drive to a job that I hate and I can't stand. And then I have to, you know, commute. I don't live up north anymore in Chicago, but I remember the days of waking up to take the train downtown. I'd get up at five, I'd take a 6.30 train to get downtown at eight. I'd walk from the train from to my office on Wacker Drive from 8 to 8.30 because I was supposed to be there at 9 and I don't like to be late. And then I'd leave at 5, I'd walk to the train by 5.30, my train left at 6, I'd get home at 7.30. So I'd leave my house at 6 in the morning, maybe 5.30, and I'd get home at 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. And that was my life during the week, that was it. And do you think I have any like mental, emotional, like life ROI from that? Absolutely not. Hi, by the way, Mr. Walls, Nick, Mommy, Disco Wellness. Um, thanks for joining. I'm just so fired up about this. I'm so fired up and it's so, I had no idea I was gonna read that article today, but it's so telling and, and I just know, and I'm gonna do a heavy, heavy, not even ridiculous, not, not even close to being subtle plug, but it just so happens, if you look at the link in my profile, one of the businesses that I launched last week is a sales and business development training course for women because I know exactly why women don't branch out, why they don't ask for the raise at their job, why they don't speak up in meetings, why they don't ask for a promotion, why they don't go to their boss like I did at my last job and say, you know what, this role isn't working for me, but here's my value, here's what I can do for you. Guess what, I was scared shitless when I went to my boss and I presented that to him and I was nervous and my heart, I had butterflies, my heart was in my throat and you know what he said? Yes. And I had the position that I wanted. Did I get the raise I asked for? No. But when I didn't get the raise I asked for, that was to me the sign and I said, I've done all I can here. My boss gave me the new position and that's awesome, but I'm not, I, I'm not earning what I'm worth. I can do so much more. That was the sign for me to quit my job and start Fitful Angel. And my dad told me I was stupid. My brother told me I was stupid. Many of my friends told me I was stupid. Everyone said stay with the predictable job. My dad, and he let, he's, he's okay with me quoting him. He's like, Kelly, you never start another job without having, or he goes, don't quit a job until you get a new job. Do you have money? I did it. I was not allowed to declare unemployment and have that cushy um, padding of, of unemployment because I didn't get fired, I quit. So you don't have to do what I did. You don't have to quit until you know it's time to quit. But if you think for one second, ladies, that you can't write a book or you can't start your online fitness business or your online nutrition business, or um, I already said get a book. I mean, some of the ladies that I know that are in my Fitfluential network, right? They have gone on, they have published cookbook authors. They have two or three cookbook deals. Some of them are on TV. I mean, some of these ladies are making so much money and a few of them are men, but the majority of, of folks in the Fit uh blogger network are, are female. But I have watched so many of them pursue their passion and I literally was jaw to the ground, like, oh my God, look what they're doing. And then there's a whole bunch of others that are just trying and they're jealous and they're complaining that they don't make any money and then they go back and they get a job that they hate and they don't have any time with their families. Believe that you can do it. I'm not saying it's overnight. When I hear that 5% of CEOs are women, that's bullshit. There are so many ridiculously talented women out there who are not giving themselves enough credit, who are playing small, who are giving into fear, giving into doubt. I'm not saying it's easy. You're gonna have fear, you're gonna have doubt. The whole reason I created my sales course 
which is called the opposite of nice isn't nasty. I called it that for a reason because so many women think when I say, and I'm training a couple clients this week, when I say, you've got to stop playing so nice. You've got to stop being a people pleaser. Hello, I was one of them. And I got taken advantage of, manipulated, screwed over by way too many clients and way too many people in my business life and my personal life. And when I started to see it and make changes, everything changed for me. That doesn't mean when you stop playing nice and you stop being a people pleaser in your personal life and your business life, that, that means that you're gonna be this raging bitch. It doesn't mean you have to be Claire Underwood, as I say. Um, House of Cards reference, in case you don't know what I'm talking about. What it means is that you stand firm. You decide to become a strong, powerful, confident woman who makes no apologies. You become assertive, you're tenacious, you believe in yourself and you believe in what you're doing as far as what you're selling, what you're promoting, what you're giving back to the world and you, you don't over discount yourself. You don't let people walk all over you and if, you, if somebody gives you a no, you're like, thanks. You don't take it like, oh my God, they don't love my book, they don't love my training program, they said no. It means they're not your customer. These are all concepts that we do, like a major deep dive in, in, in my sales course. And I truly wasn't planning to talk about this, but when I read that article, I'm like, 5%, 5%. This is what I'm passionate about. This is why I've started two new businesses. This is why I've made a sharp right hand turn and I want so many of you to make that sharp right hand turn. If you're not happy where you are, if you have, if you look at the Instagram post I put up today, if you have the same problems today that you had last December, that's a problem. It doesn't mean we're not gonna have problems, but if, if you are repeatedly in the same place where you're like, my marriage sucks, my body, I'm, I can't lose this last 20 pounds or this last five pounds, if you're complaining about the same things that you were last December, then something is not, you're not doing the right thing. And if you haven't made a, a major change, it's time for you to make a major change. It's time for you to start believing in yourself and take a chance. Again, just in closing, you don't have to quit your job today. You don't have to quit your job and give everything up to start a business, but start. Why not start believing in yourself? And furthermore, in closing, if you are a woman out there and you have already started, if you have a blog, if you have an idea, to launch an ebook, to launch a training program, to launch a nutrition program, to get a published cookbook or get a published fitness book or get on television. All of these things are possible. If you're in a network marketing business, if you're in uh, a job and you wanna get promoted, you wanna move up the ladder and you've been stuck at the same place getting the same 10% cost of living raise every year. If you think that you can't do more and dramatically change your life. This is your like this is your wake up call. This is your invitation. If you think you can't be a founder or CEO of your own company, you're crazy. There are no reasons why you can't pursue your passion because your passion is what deserves to be experienced by so many people. If I had given into my doubts and my fears and my insecurities of what if I fail? What if I start this company and we don't do shit? What if I never make any money? Do you think I don't have the same worries right now? I'm more confident than I've ever been in my whole life. I have the exact same worries right now. What if I start this business? What if I promote this course? What if nobody buys it? That's human nature. But when you learn that that's all part of the process, hi Lindsay, hi Mr. Walls, hi, I, can't, I haven't said hi to all of you that are here, please forgive me. Um, when you learn that that's all part of the process, you move past it and you just stay in action. I just have to encourage you, it is the end of 2000, I almost said 2019, it is the end of 2018. If you look back at this year and you think about where you were, I do this all the time, I do this, it doesn't just have to be at the end of the year or the beginning of the year, I'm always looking back to where I was a year ago. And if I haven't made significant progress, that's my wake up call. We should be doing this every month, every quarter, certainly at the beginning and the end of the year. Look back at where you were in December of last year. Is your life remarkably different for the better? If it's not, are you gonna keep doing the same thing? Are you gonna keep doubting yourself, not believing in yourself, thinking that success is for everybody else? Don't kid yourself. Don't do what so many women do and go, I guess it's just not for me. I've tried, I joined Rodan and Fields, I joined Beachbody, I joined Beauty Counter. All of my friends are making $3,000 extra a month and I'm making 200. Do something differently. Learn how to sell better, learn how to promote better. Heavy plug, <laughs> that's what my course is about. Ladies, it is time for you to level up. It is time for you to believe in yourself. 
freaking A. I don't want to see next year that 5% of CEOs are women. Why can't we make that 25%? Hell, why can't we make that 50%? Women CEOs perform, actually I'm gonna see if I can find that statistic and share it because I read recently that women CEOs or women in the C-suite gener generally perform better than men. I remember it was a, like a holy crap moment. So I hope if you're just coming, a lot of you guys are just joining now. If you're just joining now, please watch this on the replay. Please, if you are having any kind of doubts about yourself, if you wanted to start a business and you're struggling, um, with making the leap. If you've already started a business and you've been struggling and, and you're thinking, I'm gonna throw on the towel, you shouldn't throw on the towel. You should just be doing things differently. If you have questions and you think, my course starts on January 7th. I just started promoting it and making it available for pre-sale on Friday. If you're interested, ping me, DM me, email me, kelly at kellyalexa.com. I'm happy to answer any questions, um, but I'm just passionate about getting more women to Here's the fitness tie-in, people. I started a fitness company, what, two, uh, seven, eight years ago, Fitfluential. Some of you know it, some of you don't know it. I'm very passionate about fitness, health, and wellness. One of the things, one of the primary things that affects our fitness and our health and our wellness is stress. What are the two numbers, the, the top two sources, I can't talk today, it's too amped up. The top two sources of stress money and jobs and actually that those two kind of overlap because our jobs or the way that we earn our income they overlap right so if that's affecting your health and trust me if you've been following me you know stress affects everything it affects your your workouts it affects your nutrition it affects your sleep it affects everything this is why i'm passionate about getting women to pursue their passion staying in a dead-end job because you think it's safe is a joke you're killing yourself with stress. Staying in a dead-end job because you're too scared and you don't believe in yourself and maybe you don't know how to start a website or a blog or you don't think you're good at social media, you don't think you could do what I'm doing right now, which is get on Instagram Live and just wing it. Anybody can do what I'm doing. When I did my first video, 2009, go on YouTube. Go on YouTube, my channel is Alexa17. I haven't done it in a while. You can find my first video. I put up a camera and I just winged it and I had poor lighting and I figured out some trips later and getting on YouTube opened up the door for more opportunities for me in 2008 and 2009 than I could ever imagine. It's how I ended up connecting with so many people in business on social media because I took the leap and I didn't worry about what people thought of me. I didn't worry that I didn't know any fancy video editing techniques. I had no idea what I was doing back then. I didn't have calls to action. I didn't ask people to subscribe. I didn't tell people to like my video. I didn't contain affiliate links in all of my YouTube descriptions. I know better now, but guess what? I just started. And that's all I have to say, because ladies, you can just start. This is what I'm fired up about. I hope you guys have a good day. For those of you that I didn't say hi to, it was really great to see a lot of you. Um, leave me comments, DM me. I encourage you to go to the link in my bio, theoppositeofnice.com. Check out my course. The first 25 people that sign up for my course this month, the one that goes live January 7th, get a free 30 minute consultation with me. I normally would charge $250 for that. You get it free if you purchase the course and you're one of the first 25 people. Three of those spots are already gone. This is your opportunity. I will see you guys later. Have an awesome, awesome Monday. Hopefully, I can end this. I have issues ending my Instagram. Uh, Amanda, I expect to see you there. You guys have a great rest of the day. It was awesome seeing you, and I'll talk to you soon.